happy day seven y'all okay so um i actually just woke up well not just woke up but i forgot about the interview i told y'all i had an interview so and i completely forgot about it in my phone love iphones i love technology because it somehow set an alarm for me so um i got up and um dressed for that and it's very close to my house so i only got like I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm in shambles right now. That's why I can't talk. But it's 940. I have to be there at 10. So I'm going to end this clip. I just want to come and say good morning. Happy day 7. Wish me luck. I'll be back. Hey y'all. I'm back. I'm um, back in the house. It, it's currently 1119. So um, I did the interview and it was actually really cool. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out a way to tell y'all like what it entailed without giving away the company. But basically their interview process is so unique and it's actually interactive. Um, you know, it's it was really more of like an assessment and an interview one because I hadn't actually taken an online assessment for this position or anything like that. So it's like you go in, you're assessed, and you um, get you have your interview like right then and there. So that went really, really well. Um, the lady that interviewed me, uh, she's a supervisor there. She was very sweet, very nice, and very helpful. And she has some bomb knotless braids, so that was cool. So now I'm about to make some tea because it's still kind of early, and I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. But y'all. It's day seven. Oh my gosh. This is, if you've ever heard of like bad, not bad habits. Yeah, bad habits are hard to break or new habits are um, easy to form or whatever. The time frame for that is usually seven days. So people say you can start a new habit in seven days and you can break an old habit in seven days, I believe. Or 15 days or something like that. So we'll see how this is um, the rest of the day. I'm not going to lie this morning. Um, I got up and I'm like... I don't really need to go to this interview, honestly, because, you know, I have a job and blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, no, I made a commitment because um, my alarm went off. I was like, what? I was confused because I had forgotten, completely forgot about the interview. And I don't know how because I was thinking about it yesterday. Um, but I completely forgot. It's, like spaced completely. But anyway, I got up and I went and I'm glad I did because this is, again, I work from home now and this is kind of like my trial. So um, I'm just going to wait on them and see how things continue to go in my current job and whether I'm going to try to do both if I'm going to give up one or you know just stick with what I'm going for or going with so yeah that was how that went so that was great I uh, said so I was about to make some tea I'm gonna go with some detox tea today oh no no I'm gonna go with some green tea today um same apple cider vinegar and stevia mix but just some regular tea and then I might just chill out for a minute I actually need to cook too so maybe we'll go ahead and do those meal preps. Let's see. I don't know. I'll be back. But how do y'all feel about pork rinds? I was just sitting here like, yeah, I need to cook. But I'm like, I have these. So do I really need to cook? I don't know. But um, these are salt and vinegar pork rinds. Anybody that is on keto or you're looking for keto-friendly snacks, these are really, really good. I love them. Um, they're also called chicarons. Chicarons. I don't know if that's how you say it, but um, I call them pork rinds or skins. They're these right here have zero net carbs or zero carbs period um there is six grams of fat total and that's none of that is saturated fat there are 80 calories um within a half ounce so about 14 grams so there's about four servings in here so this whole bag is going to be like 120 calories not too bad um, but i'm just going to snack on these now because i actually don't feel like cooking right now I'm gonna sip my tea and eat these or eat some of these and then probably what oh I haven't up I still have to upload yesterday's vlog. Well technically today I don't know. I have to upload day six onto um YouTube. I haven't done that, so I'm gonna go do that. What's up you guys? I'm back. Um so these I'm actually about to prepare these pork chops. Um as you know, I've said this multiple times. Um restarted my keto journey and all meats um have zero carbs for the most part. I don't usually eat pork, okay? It's been I've been getting like slowly easing back into it, but based on my budget and also on um, the diet, this is a very good choice. Now we're going to see how my body reacts to this because I haven't had like a legit full pork chop in so long. Um, I have had like sausage and pepperoni like on pizza and like in different recipes and stuff, but I haven't had like a full pork chop. So it might not be crazy, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to be baking them and I'm going to smother them in Italian dressing. So I'll let y'all see those when they're um, done all right so this is our before um they're just smothered and i know also with italian dressing that's not a really a keto friendly um like a lot of dressings are not keto friendly for the most part um so this is going to be i told y'all i'm just easing my way in here so don't you know jump in my 
I'll jump up my butt. Um, but you know, eventually over time, I'll cut all that out. But yep, I just smothered them. Um, so they're gonna bake and marinate at the same time. I'm actually gonna cover this, so um, they're not gonna be like hard baked. They're gonna be like you know boiled baked, if that makes sense. And yeah, all right. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Um, so I didn't tell y'all what actually happened earlier today, and that'll explain everything in a minute. But these are actually cold. Well, they're not cold, but <laughs> they're not as hot as I would like for them to be. Um, because, well, I'm going to sit down and look at you and tell you what happened earlier today. All right, so, um, oh, they're playing, oh, no, yes. All right, so it is 11.44. Let me tell you what happened earlier. So I actually clocked out of work early because I had a personal reason, and I may or may not go more into detail into this later, but for my own personal reasons, I clocked out. And um, I was not on the clock for like four or five hours. And I, when I got back here, that's when I showed y'all the clip where I was cooking the pork chops. That's when I came back in the house. Um, I sat down to go log into my Xbox. And for some reason, it wouldn't log me in. I've never had this issue ever. And it wouldn't log me in. So then I'm like, let me film. Or I wanted to continue to film, but my battery was dying. That's why I didn't get any more of the food footage until right before this clip. So I'm like... Is this a sign I need to just log back into work? So I have two hours left. So I actually went back to log in and take some more calls until the end. And it's actually, I said it's 11.44. So I went over on a call. But she was a really nice lady, so it's okay. Um, so, yeah, that's why everything is kind of like all over the place today. But day seven, we made it. I'm actually about to go um, over to Brian Davis' house and play Uno. Well, they're playing Uno right now. I don't know what they're going to be playing when I get there. Um... But they're having game night, and I was planning on making it earlier, but as I said before, I went over on the call, so I'm about to change and head over there, and um, yeah, you saw the porch. I put the porch house back in the oven, but I just, she just takes me back, so, um, or I just takes her, so um, I'm just gonna turn it off and then maybe warm them up when I come back. But y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. I know today's vlog was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But we made it to day seven and I'm so proud of myself. And I can't even, I'm not even gonna go into detail cause I gotta go and I can't vlog over there. But I'm just really, really proud of myself. And I'm gonna keep, try my best to keep it going. Um, I'm gonna look into some the options as far as like not vlogging on weekends or my off days just to take a break for myself and not feel forced to have to just film just because. So um, yeah, y'all, thank you for tuning in to day seven. I hope you all have had a wonderful day and we'll have a wonderful day tomorrow. I actually have to work again tomorrow, so yeah. But other than that, I love you so much. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like and turn on the notification bell and all of that fun stuff so you can catch all of my Vlog Timber episodes or whatever. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.